U Menteri Bakmi Ikatanat Boarding Kajela, U James P.K. Sangma, mentang sengi ulai tuak bakas warkar kalah menjur ban penteri no Eka Ganol Small Hydro Power Project kepala ban penmi boarding adu RPR poin San Megawatt haka jinglut kepalong San Spa Nyau poin Nyau Pui Kelur. Kat kum kajinya tu, Jong James nak bentar ban sedang no Eka Teik Project kas warkar lingba ke State Development Load kan ai San Pau Kelur tingkah bat nak kalian ke MEPDCL kan Shimru ia karam ke bakuat Cispa Nyo Pulai poin Katwe Kelur na Kibang. Ujim selai tu ru bahagia kejengelang jongga kunhun menteri mentaka sengi ke planning department kala ai jingmut ia ke sorkar bantung ia ke komiti ke ban klik dao chief secretary na ke bantah ban kemi ia ke rukom siu jongga tenat boarding ia ke lun ke bakan top ia ke syihajar lai sepak sau pesan kelur kumbala menjur dao ke sorkar kenang bahagia yakini ke lun on lak ban siu biang por Bada kaju kepor lah aijing mutru bahaya ke Ganol Small Hydro Power Project dari ban pendap no HU Nailar Jong Muslim Arhajar Arpoar. The fifth agenda which took place today, which was placed before the cabinet, was regarding funding for the completion of the Ganol Small Hydro Project. As you all know, the Ganol project was was originally accorded administrative approval in the year 2008. Due to many reasons, the, the cost of the project, uh, the estimate was revised and uh, there was a, uh, a revision to the cost in the year 2008. Uh, 13, where the approved cost for the implementation of the project was uh, approved at Rs. 332.68 crores. This is at the 2012 price level. And uh, then in 2014, the project cost had to be revised again on account of increase in the cost of land as per the new Land Acquisition Act 2013. And it was revised to uh, 356.43 however administrative approval was accorded for this 356.43 only in the year 2019 in the meantime uh, the central working uh, sorry the central water commission cwc which was the consult consultant for the project revised the drawings uh, and um, this led to the increase in the quantity of several components to add to this, uh, there were certain geological surprises at the project site which also led to increased quantities. So MEPGCL has, uh, they revised the cost of the project further uh, from 356.43 crores to 507.71 crores. And this current revised cost estimate is based on the 2019 price level. So the abstract of the revised cost, uh, I would, uh, I'll, you want me to read it out, comes to loan 2223.11, equity 54, grant 229, so coming to a total of 507.71 crores. 507.71. Seven one. It was proposed before the cabinet today to approve the revised cost estimate 2019 for the completion of Garnol Stage 1 small hydro project which is for 22.5 uh, megawatts at an amount of rupees 507.71 crores to approve a state development loan at an amount of rupees 50.00 crores to allow MEPGCL to avail a loan for an amount of Rs. 173.11 crores from financial institutions and to increase the borrowing limit of MEPGCL for the purpose. So these uh, proposals were placed before the cabinet and the cabinet uh, was informed of the views of the finance department which uh, made certain observations. Uh, and uh, which have agreed to the proposed cabinet memo subject to certain conditions namely that the proposed SDL that is the state development loan will be considered immediately 
to facilitate the recommencement of the work while in the meantime the loan of 123.11 crores for financial institutes can be institutions can be processed secondly the interest and repayment of the sdl loans will have to be made by the macl and to ensure regular payment of the loan a redemption reserve fund of 10 years is to be created this account is to be operated jointly by MSCL and the finance department of government of meghalaya secondly uh, thirdly a loan agreement is to be executed between the MECL and the state government to ensure the service redemption of the sdl uh, the planning department also had certain observations they uh, they had uh, certain conditions i'm sorry and uh, the one of the conditions was that the proposed high powered committee under the chairmanship of the chief secretary which was uh, formed to monitor the performance of the MEPC, PDCL and the MECL to ensure that the long-term loan of 1,245 crores to be availed by the MEPDCL against the state government guarantee is, re is regularly repaid and the project management unit of technical experts to be created under the planning department to support the HPC on its above task would also monitor the performance of the MEPTCL, uh, PGCL with regard to the Garnol project with the same powers and conditions approved in the cabinet memo relating to the above long term loan of 1345 crores. And the third um, and the second uh, condition was that the project should be completed by September 2022. This after discussion in the cabinet, the cabinet agreed to all these and the views uh, and the conditions were agreed upon and therefore uh, the cabinet agreed to the revised cost estimate and also to uh, agree to the state development loan of 50 crores and also allow MEPGCL to avail a loan of 173.11 crores and to um, increase in pursuance of that to increase the borrowing limit of MEPGCL for the purpose. It has not, there's not been any delay in starting it. The construction has been going on for many years now, but uh, the work progress has been slow and uh, there was this uh, lack of clarity in terms of um, the revised cost estimate uh, which was proposed by the MEPGCL so now that uh, clarity is there and so we expect this work to commence at full swing and uh, see completion by september 2022